Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Fix This. In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace the control board on the newer style ASCO dishwashers. They're getting an F12 water inlet fault code and the board has to be replaced because the programming is a little different uh, in the US versions um, compared to the Swedish version. So um, we're gonna uninstall the dishwasher. You saw me take the toe kick off and then the two mounting screws. <clears throat> We're just going to slide the dishwasher out. Some of these you're going to have to disconnect the drain hose and the power cord. This one I did uh, have to undo the hose under the sink and uh, unplug it. A T20 torque screw. There's four of them to remove the back of the dishwasher. I use a little flathead screwdriver to pry the back off. <clears throat> Sometimes it gets stuck up in the insulation on the tub. Once the back's off, uh, depending on the setup of the house or whatnot, um, on this one, I tipped it back, rested on the cabinet to gain uh, easier access to get underneath here. You can remove the door front if you want. This seems easier in this uh, setup. There are six T20 torque screws to remove off of this toe kick in order to gain access to the board. Two on the bottom front, two up in the corner, and then two right up in the roof of it. There's a little closer shot of the uh, other roof screw. Once those are out, the toe kick will come off, out and down. You can take the toe kick without, take it off without tipping the dishwasher back, but made it a little easier. I always take pictures of my wire connections. Some people mark them with a marker. I take pictures. We're gonna remove each connector. Might need a poker tool or a flathead screwdriver to get to some of the, the Molex tabs. And there's a little zip tie we're going to need to cut that the harness is attached to the board with. In order to free the board, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver. You're going to reach in on a tab, or you can go from the side of the dishwasher because it is pulled out and uh, release that tab. Then you can slide the board back. Now, I believe you might be able to do this from the front. I haven't tried. I believe I will try next time and, and see if it can be done completely from the front. But... Uh, this time I did it from the front and back because there were connections on the front and back that seemed pretty difficult to do just from the front. So come to the back and I've just sped this video up quite a bit. I'm just removing all the wire connections to the board. I can't really get in and see exactly what's uh, happening. But once again, I like to take pictures of all those connections. Not a lot of space to work. It's a, it is definitely a tight 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 space to get in and, and remove all those connections so it does take a while to get them off <laughs> once they're all out take the old board out put the new board in then I'll hook up the connectors in the back these three here the power supply connectors are the ones that I'm not sure if you can um, hook up from the front so I believe you have to pull the dishwasher to get to this like I said um, I'm going to experiment on the next one and see if I can do it just from the front, but I, I'm not sure that I can. And we'll go through and hook up all the connections in the back. And then I found there was actually enough wire to pull the board through the front to remove all those side connections that were a pain to get to. So um, <clears throat> next time I do it, I definitely will be undoing all those side connections from the front not from the back as I showed myself undoing from the back. When I made this video, it was the first uh, board I had removed. Didn't know how many I would be seeing, but now we're seeing a, a trend with these ASCO dishwashers in that F12 error code. Just verifying my pictures to make sure that the Molex plugs are going in the right place. Okay, now I'm at the back of the dishwasher again, and we're gonna set the board in place on the side wall and snap it into place. <clears throat> Move the camera around here so you can see the, the bracket and where it snaps in. See it right there above the spring and then it just slides and snaps into place and that's what holds the board in place. We're going to come to the back, check all our connections. 
And that's it for the back. We're going to put the back toe kick back on, back cover plate. Just slide it into place, and then we're going to grab our four torque screws. Okay, we're back to the front. We're going to finish hooking up the last of Molex plugs to the front of the board. So there are plugs on the front, there are plugs on the side, there are plugs on the rear, and then there are plugs on the, the facing front where the power cord's going to. So all different angles that you've got to be able to put the uh, Molex plugs on. <clears throat> Once all that's done, just check your wires. Everything looks good. We're going to put our toe kick back into place. Just snap that back up into place and then once again there are six T20 screws. Two along the bottom toe kick portion. And two on the top and two in the, the middle. This video will give you a, a little clearer picture of where they're at. Or this shot I should say. Oops, I forgot to show putting the last one in. But, yeah, that's all there is to replacing that board. Once you kick the board on, then it will walk you through some programming steps that are basic, simple steps that um, you can just follow through the instructions. So, and that's how you get rid of the F12 code on the newer style ASCO dishwashers. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on how to fix your own appliances. Thanks.